Blackheart Bart, who's tracking winking and odds every move, and a length and a half behind those to Magnificio, but Fuchsia Bandana rolled off the riverside of the track, less than 500 to go, a length and a half clear of Delicacy. She's away now from the fence, she's come off the heels of Fuchsia Bandana, they dropped off Global Flirt, Warwick goes to work on winking and odd, and Blackheart Bart stokes up for his run, Fuchsia Bandana at the 200, tackled by Delicacy and Blackheart Bart, it's Delicacy going to the lead, Blackheart Bart gunning her down, Blackheart Bart reaches the lead from Delicacy, Magnificio, Blackheart Bart, Blackheart Bart has won. Quinella seemed to be the trend today and you'd be pretty happy with yours with the weeks that are coming up, but this is a great result. Yeah, no, great runs by both horses, uh, they're both on track and we'll be, well, I think we're pretty happy with them going into the fortnight. Just tell us about Blackheart's Bart run there, it was under a little bit of pressure as they approached the, the turn, it was shaken up by Glenn Smith, but again, as we've seen so many times, just response. Yeah, well, he's, like I said, he's, he hasn't been trained for these uh, 1200s and things like that. So we've had him in a different eel call prep and um, we're looking at the mile and the 1800. The victory from what you saw today, did it just enforce your confidence leaning forward to the railway? Oh, look, we expected him to run pretty well there today. And um, uh, even though, you know, the quality of, of that field was just um, tip top. I mean, it's the best WA he's got to offer here. And, um, uh, but we, we knew he's stepping up at the right time and um, same as Maggie. And um, yeah, no, we're just really happy with the pair of them. Tell us about Magnificio's run as well, because it's brilliant down the outside over the 1400 metres and at a distance that she has run well at before as well in this race. Yeah, look, it's, it was a bit hard. Jace, you know, like he's... He, he, had, he had the bad, bad gate there and obviously he's, um, he's either going to go forward or he's going to go back, which is probably not a general style, but um, like when she sort of like didn't step on the jump, well, he's gone back there and uh, no, she's finished off really, really well. Looks to be an emotional victory for you and the team. You must be really happy with how everything's going along now. Yeah, no, we're pretty stoked. Yeah. Well done, mate. Congratulations on the win. Ta -ba. Everything get, gets thrown at him. He just seems to respond and he's building nicely into this prep. He is, yeah. Um, coming out the gates, he... Jumped to the right and scanned into the side of the gates. I hit it with my shoulder and everything. I nearly half knocked me off him. And um, from then on, he just relaxed beautiful. And I actually wanted to be in the 1-1, one -one, but I didn't want to upset him uh, going forward into a mile on that. He was beautiful and relaxed, so I was happy to be there, following winking and nod. And he just does what he does down the straight and went past him too good. It's not unusual to see him shaken up at the top of the straight and again you had to do that and Vaughan alluded to that you're looking at the 16 and the 1800 metres so it's not a concern but when you do he just responds immediately. He does yeah he sort of dropped a little bit a little bit behind winking and odd he, and then he got tracking up behind it when I just got him to the outside he just took a sort of 50 metres to hit his straps but that's what you want going forward into another 200 metres up into the mile. Um, he's beautiful and relaxed and he should run it out strong and he'll be right there. Speaking of Vaughan then, you could see that this win, there was a bit of emotion to it. He's obviously uh, excited about what's to come but the pressure as well. Tell us about what it's like for you. You're on a horse that's now won three in a trot. We know it's favour for the railway. We know so many people are expecting stuff. Is that putting pressure onto you? Oh, not really. We can only go out there and do what we do. You know, the barrier draws yet to come out. Play something in it, but I've got heaps of confidence in the horse. He just does everything you ask him to. I went up and worked him Wednesday and he worked brilliant, which is not usually him. So um, I think he's just going onwards and upwards. Well, at the moment, everything you do is working out perfectly, mate. Keep it going. Congratulations. No